Hi, this is Jim. I want to do a quick review about the final E3000 earbuds I have pictured here. Um, I was going to do this when I got home from work today, but I just feel like I want to talk about them right now. I'm on break. It's about 9.15 in the morning. And I wanted to try these off my phone um, one more time because <clears throat> when I first got these, I looked and when I bought them May of 2018 and at that time I had a Samsung S8 active phone and I plugged them into that when I got them and I was instantly disappointed because I thought they sounded flat and kind of dull and they didn't really have any any life to them no energy so I thought maybe it was just me and I put them up and I tried them a few times after that and they just sounded the same every time that I tried them so I thought well the I just you know these aren't for me so but then somewhere along the line and I would forget that I even had them because my wife will ask me every once in a while when I buy a new pair of headphones she'll say how many pairs of headphones do you have now and I'll try to count them and then that's the only time I'd really think about these because they were just sitting in my closet <laughs> And then uh, sometime after I got this uh, G7 phone, the LG with the quad DAC, I, I remember I plugged these into it and I thought, hey, hey, that sounds kind of interesting, you know, but not being a big IEM guy, I, I just put them back up and I didn't think too much about it. But I got these out, I was going to do a comparison of these to the, to the one more triple layer, the IEMs. And I, I plugged these into my amp last night. I got an Atom amp, um, and it's hooked to a XQ50 Bluetooth receiver. And I plugged these into that, and my mind was blown by how good they sounded. I could not believe these were the same earbuds that I had been, and I forgot I was doing a review. I forgot I was supposed to be comparing them to those one more is and I just started listening to them and all of a sudden I remembered oh yeah I'm supposed to be comparing these to the one mores and so I thought well I need to take them out and listen to the one mores but I'll be honest with you I didn't want to take them out I just want to keep <laughs> listening to music on them that's how good they sound and these when you hook them up to an amp or a quad deck on an LG phone or anything like that like a lot of these IEMs I found if you put the power to them, if you try to crank them up, they start to degrade and the treble will start to get grainy and the bass will start to get muddy and they just, some of these earbuds, they just fall apart when you put power to them. But these here, they respond and they just sound better and better and I've turned them up as loud as I could stand it and they are just crystal clear and the louder you turn them, the, the more awesome they sound. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe just buy them and leave them sit in a box for a couple of years or something. I don't know, but these are, I can't believe how good these sound to me now. So I cannot recommend these highly enough. They are fantastic. The final E3000. But like I say, you got to have a good source to drive these with though. Thanks. Have a good day.